Hello and thank you so much for joining me today. Um, it's been a long time since I've done a design team share, so I thought I would share these with you before I send them off to Craftstash. So Craftstash have sent me um, some dies to play with. These are from the Pretty Quick um, range. Um, they sent me a whole bunch of dies and asked me to create some projects with them. And what I do is I create them and I post them into them um, and then they put them on their website and share them with you as well. But often I'm creating and sharing tutorials with you but I also do create behind the scenes as well um, and do some of my designing. And I just thought I would share with you really quick what I made um, to give you some ideas and inspiration with maybe dies that you've got at home or if you've picked up these dies or want to pick them up then you've got some ideas to kind of work with. So I'm going to share with you some of my creations. So I'll get started with this one here. Um, this die comes like this, it's one unit and they're very quick and easy to cut. I had no issues with any of these dies, I ran them through once. So sometimes I go forward and then backwards. With all of these I just went once and they cut really nicely. Um, so for this one I used it as like a silhouette image and I just die just cut out my image. I used my Tailored Expressions um, Sentiment Strips die, which are these ones here which I share with you quite often. Um, and I used that set there to do my little strip. Used some Nuvo drops on the top and bottom. And I just like how this turned out and I've got some um, just some paper from my collection. Um, that I propped up behind there and went with sort of a black theme um, on a white card base and it's a top folding note card as well. So that is one idea for this die. Now the next die set is this one here. Um, it's a nice little die, it's kind of a nice scene die and it does say Merry Christmas um, embossed into the cardstock on the top as you can see in the image on here. Um, and for this one I have got it popped up on some black, so I fussy cut around the edges, um, glued it on some black glitter, fussy cut round. Um, I used some glossy accents in various places, added a couple strips of cardstock there, and then I did sort of a night scene using my Distress Oxide, or my, not Distress Oxide, my Distress Colours, and I just inked it up and just kind of did a sort of ombre to night sky kind of look. Um, and yeah, so that's that little one. Then moving on is this die set here. So it comes with the car and the trailer. It's got a little bunny in it, a bird, a gift box um, or gift, and a Christmas tree. And all these dies have embossing details on them as well. So all the darker areas you can see on the image are the bits that it has embossed into the cardstock. And it's a bit tricky to show you on some of my cards. You can see it up close and personal, um, but it is a bit more difficult to see on the actual dies themselves and on my die cuts. Um, I did struggle with this one a little bit and kind of what to do for an idea. Um, and in the end, I decided to just go with the car. I paper pieced it together, which is really difficult to tell, um, but they're various different papers from the same paper pack. Um, and then I traced around the edges with my um, Arteza gel pen, um, this one here. And then I also used some of my shimmer pen on the wheels. And I just stuck down the gift box and the tree on the top. And the stamp set um, is this one here. Now I have no idea where I put the packaging. This is a new stamp set from Craft Stash. I'll link it down below as well. Um, it's got some cute little sentiments on it and some really sweet little extra images. And so I'll link this down below as well. I'll link all of these things down below for you if you want to check any of them out. Um, so that's what I did on there. And then my background, I just literally chopped out some cardstock that I had laying on my desk. Um, and then I just use that to kind of give it like a rolling hills kind of look. And then I just kind of ink blended into the sky. And I used my washi tape, which I get from AliExpress, not washi tape, it's my post-it note tape. So it's a very, very low tack tape. And I just used that to mask off parts of my card um, and did my road and used my gel pen. So I did pick this up as a set of three from Crastash. Um, you get the glitter pen, which is really cool. Um, so it's like the um, the Wink Estella kind of thing, but in a pen. So I got the glitter one. And then there's a black gloss as well. And um, they're all very fine point pens. And then you've got the white. So I did pick these all up on Craft Stash. It came as a set. I think I paid five quid for them. 
I'll link them down below. This glitter pen is so fun. I'm not sure if you can see that shine, but it is really, really, really shimmery. Um, so that's a set of three, which I actually find really useful for doing Christmas cards because it's kind of got one for whatever card I'm doing, which is quite fun. Now next up is this die set, and I'm pretty proud of myself for this one. So it's the cutest little die, full stop, and you can make a really cute little Christmas tag out of this. It's got the hole punched for you on the top, it's got a little deer and a little bunny, it's just the sweetest little die. And that's how you can you can see the image here. You can see the bits that are embossed. They're the darker pink kind of colors. Um, sorry if my light is kind of shining. Um, and this is the card I made. Can you hear that? So I love how this turned out. Now I did put way <laughs> too many sea beads in there. Um, these beads are from Alina's shop on AliExpress. I'll link them down below. They come in a little sachet and I just put them into some of these jars which are also from her site. And they're just teeny, teeny, tiny little beads and they, you can see how staticky they are. They're a bit annoying when you pour them in. So if you can see, it looks really nice because they kind of rest in between my die cuts so you can see the die cut showing through. But when you tip it that way, <laughs> kind of looks like he's swimming in snow <laughs> and he lost the bunny. So I put a few too many in there. Oops, um, and I, on going back on reflection, I might just put white in in the future. I do like the gold, but I could probably just get away with the white, so I'm blinding you again. Now the sentiment, again, is from that exact same stamp set I just shared with you. I used Alina's gold embossing powder to stamp that down there. Her embossing powder is a very fine embossing powder, so it worked really nicely. And this die is also from Alina's shop, which I got last year um, in my design team package and I never used and I love it. It's so brilliant. Now I'll link it down below because I probably lost a bunch of the bits for it, um, but it's a snow globe die set and it does have happy holidays, happy Christmas, um, which you can stick down and it just embosses into it. It's got layers for your kind of bottom rings. You've got that top layer so you can cut a shaker card out of it. Um, you get various bits of Christmas tree and snowflakes. There's a lot of dyes in this set. Um, it comes with a cute little house or a church, maybe. <laughs> um, and another image here, along with um, the bottom bit. So I've not had a play with it before this year, um, but I took my bauble die and I chopped off the top of my bauble and it fit just perfect in behind the snow globe and what I did was I cut it out five times um, with the two large ones together so I used my post-it note tape and taped those together like so and then it cuts out that edge for you and leaves the middle empty and then to get my base I just cut out um, this in black cardstock for the bottom which is why you can see the black through the card there's black just there and then I also cut my acetate out of this one as well. And then they all just stack together beautifully. And there's no lining it up. And there's no worrying about um, the edges showing through. I didn't have to take my um, foam tape and cut it in half because it is just literally five layers. So I've got my top layer, then three middle layers, and then my bottom solid layer which is like that and then they all just glued together and I was able to put those seed beads in really easily and really nicely. So if you've got a round bobble die, this is another trick you can do with it. You can use whatever dies you've got in your stash and kind of manipulate it into sort of more of a scene, a fun scene card like this. And last but not least, this is probably my favorite set here. You get this big Christmas tree die, which is this one here. It's quite large and it has embossed details and also cut out details. So you can see on this bit of card where the bits are cut out as well as where they're embossed. You get a cute little bird, a rabbit or a bunny and a squirrel, I think with a star. So you get those dies in there. And the first card I made was a shaker. I always love doing that. So what I did was I took my Christmas tree die and I die cut it out. Then I took some ink and inked all the edges. So the edges of my Christmas tree are slightly darker in the center. Then I die cut it out of white glitter as well and gold. 
and I inlaid the white glitter into those bits that were cut out and I also then put the star on the top and I've used some of Lena's white seed beads and um, some of her gems as well to go in my shaker and I've used her foam tape to do the edges so that's where I've used there um, and then I just went around with some Nouveau drops some clear ones and some white ones and plonked those on and then a strip from my tailored expressions and that kind of finished off that card so I love how this one turned out when you look at it nice up and close um, it is quite detailed so I'll include some pictures at the end so you can see a bit better the inking that I did on it but I just thought it was a sweet, quick and easy, um, beautiful shaker. Then next, I did this one here. So, I took my die, and I die cut it out of some fun foam. And I stuck it onto my acrylic block, and I did some stamping. So I used a light green and a dark green to stamp my background. Then I used my ink and kind of inked up a piece of cardstock. And this embossing powder is this Tonic Nouveau embossing powder. It's a glitter one. Um, and it is called Magical Woodland. So I'll link that down below if I can find it for you. Um, it's a Nuvo, Tonic Nuvo glitter and it is stunning, the shine on that tree. So I embossed this three times with my embossing powder. So I die cut out the Christmas tree and then I inked it up with my Versamark, sprinkled on my embossing powder, heat set it and did that three times over. So it's quite thick and dimensional and very glittery and shiny. I've got some pearls there and again the stamp is from the sta same stamp set that I shared with you earlier and that's kind of how I did that card. So I love that you can take your dies and you can make stamps out of them to make a background to kind of match your stamped image. So that is my collection of cards that I made. Now let's move on to some fun shopping. So my orders that I've been placing have been getting either lost or stuck in the post um, for whatever reason our town's post office has decided that our area <laughs> isn't that uh, big of a priority or it's too overwhelming we're in a new build area um, I mean we've lived here almost nine years now but they're still building houses it's like a 15 year long project and there's thousands of houses and basically, <laughs> our post is just, if it's come through the Royal Mail, um, it is just staying at the post office. So we're getting post about once a month. <laughs> and um, I still have post from a month and a half ago that I've still not received. I've got a craft stash order that is somewhere in the Royal Mail. I don't know where it is. Um, I've also got a couple other companies that I've ordered from and it's just stuck. And this is the only order that's arrived that I've placed. Um, it was my birthday last weekend and <laughs> I ordered a few things um, and people have ordered a couple things for me and I don't know when they're gonna come. But I wanted to share my bargains with you because they're still on offer. So at the moment, Tonic Studios has a mixed media sale on. So I picked up some fun stuff. Um, I got scissors, which I already have and I use a lot, but these were on 25% off and I work in a framing studio and we have the most rubbish scissors. <laughs> so I bought these for my boss for Christmas. <laughs> I picked up some of these Nouveau Tape runners, I've never tried them. They were on offer for two quid. So I thought, let's try them out and see if they're any better. Um, then I also got one of these tools. I don't own one of these yet. And it was only the other weekend when I was wanting to make some dimensional flowers that I realized actually one of these would be really handy. Um, so what you do with them is you kind of rub them onto your flower or your paper and it kind of makes that flower pop a bit. It just gives a bit more dimension. So I thought, actually, I really want one of these. Okay, so then these ones here in this slightly different style of tube are called stone drops. So the Nouveau drops are notorious for keeping their rounded shape um, and being very shiny and beautiful and you can get glitter ones, you can get opaque ones. Um, these ones, when they dry, apparently will dry like a stone, so they're rough and gritty looking. So this is going to be fun. I got it in white, gold, and silver. So I will be playing with these and having a look at how they work. 
Then I also got this Nouveau Glitter Accents, which isn't as shiny, it just looks very, very glittery. So I thought I would try that one out as well. Then one of my new addictions is the Tonic Glitter. So these glitter sheets are not the non-shed glitter, they are shedding glitter. You will get a little bit of glitter when you die cut, but there's barely any coming off of my hand. So it is proper shiny, shiny, shiny. And the one thing I find I struggle with with non-shed glitter is sometimes when you die cut it, it just doesn't want to die cut and you run it through probably about five times to get a clean cut. With the shedding glitter is what I kind of call it, like normal glitter cardstock. It die cuts on one pass usually, so it's really nice stuff to work with. So I got a teal glitter. I got the cobalt blue, sort of darker blue. I already have this one and I love it. I've used it quite a lot. It's called Candy Floss and it is such a stunning pink. Then I got some white glitter as well because I was running low on with some white glitter. I got this Midnight Topaz Dark Blue glitter. And then this really vibrant purple um, Nebula. <laughs> I think Nebula. Nebula purple. Um, absolutely stunning. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had a good time. Um, please do like and subscribe. I've got another video coming hopefully tomorrow night of a tutorial for you. Um, so make sure you check that out. I'm going to be trying to post every Saturday night for all us people stuck inside doing <laughs> with nothing much to do. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to tune in every Saturday night and see a video from me. Um, but yeah, hopefully you are staying in and staying safe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.